Hi guys, so this time we're going to look at the Feed Blogger and this is very very similar to the Feed Tumblr. The only difference is it's going to be harder to find a sort of high page rank or high um, page authority blogger site. But there are ways around that. What you can do is you can buy an expired domain for example and do a 301 redirect. You can even do it with more than one. Okay, what I do suggest you do for both Tumblr and Blogger if you're going to go to um, you know, buying um, sort of high PR, high page authority um, URLs or, or uh, accounts, what I would suggest you do is you put a decent theme onto those sites because it's going to make a big difference if you ever get a sort of manual review, okay? So if you go and have a look over, um, let's just see over here, I've got one open here. This is a this is actually a blogger theme. This is really really good quality themes, okay. And this way you can you know have it nice and organized so that when search engine land or something, for example, in my in my example, if I'm using search engine land, Moz, um, Moz YouTube channel, whatever, whenever they make a post, it will come in here, but in a nice and organized way. You can have this set up quite nicely, and you can get some very very nice themes as well for Tumblr too. Um, and you can see it's like a magazine theme, and you can get someone to make them for you, okay. You can see this guy here um, it costs 115 dollars right enough but you know if you want to make one very very good blogger account then it's definitely worth considering to do and you can see that he you know there's a bunch of really nice themes in here that you can use nice social elements built into them and you know various things like that and it's something that you might want to consider um, for um, to have one really really good blogger account and have one really really good Tumblr account where the themes are nice as well okay um, so let's just jump back over to the software again so what you can also do in here and uh, we've got the anchor tag and the outbound authority link and you can see here I've used for example Moz HQ uh, YouTube channel that's the authority link and the outbound one but you can make that different from what you put into your RSS feed here for example Okay, I might want to do search engine land uh, RSS feed mixed in with my content for the feed URL and for the outbound link do something completely opposite like a Moz YouTube channel. Okay, and the same thing you can do for your own anchor tags and the content that's coming from here. That way you're just maximizing um, whatever you're doing. Okay, but as I mentioned before, if we come back over here, um, when you're planning your content, it's good just to have these feeds already sort of mapped out here. So it's just easy to copy and paste them into the software. And from there, you can basically take it um, further. So um, if you go over to these sites, they're always going to have an RSS feed. Um, any authority site probably has got an RSS feed no matter what niche you're in. Okay, and so you can just tie in various parts of your content to various parts of authority content, and you can have it going to high page rank, high page authority sites. And as I mentioned before, for a blogger, all you need to do is add blogger into your um, webmaster tools, add another domain into your webmaster tools, and when you've bought that domain, leave it up for maybe a week or two and then do the 301 redirect do it from your domain registry so for example i can do it within namecheap.com i can set up the 301 there i will also set it up an ht access file you can get someone on fiverr to do that for you if you don't know how and um you know i'll go into webmaster tools and i will add it in there as well i'll just say this site is now redirecting to this site here which will be the blogger account and that way it makes perfect sense to be able to do that or you can just put the URL straight into blogger as well if that's what you choose to do. I would rather do the 301 redirect because I'm probably going to do more than one um, for the blogger um, if I'm going to go to the expense of spending 115 bucks or 50 bucks or anything to get someone to put a nice theme on my site and uh, you probably have to pay for the theme as well. Um, but somebody like that for 115 bucks, looking at um, what has been said in the um, feedback he got there, he's probably highly likely to work with me to get what I want in there. So, for example, if I wanted to do from mass media um, a really nice sort of news blogger site where we're sending things in by category, he can probably help me to get that set up. And for 115 bucks, I'd, I'd be happy to pay that. And plus a nice theme, um, the cost of a nice theme to get that done. And, um, you know, just get it 
get it set up for me um, it makes perfect sense and then with the IFTTT stuff all that syndication is happening set and forget after that I don't need to think about it again once I set it up so I can do eight different variations again for the blogger feed and it's just good syndication going out um, so I hope that makes a lot of sense to you and that's the way that I've designed these as I mentioned before using the feed allows us to do um, content syndication from any page on the web basically and um, that we can get an RSS feed from and it gives us far far more flexibility than is offered within IFTTT using the sites that IFTTT actually connect with this is a way around it and you can even do multiple YouTube channels this way as well so if you've got say five or six multi channels within one Google account you can mash up all of those channels feeds and you can put them through and so that any video you post or favorite um, from any of those five or six channels that you've got for example it will get syndicated that way okay so you can use more than one YouTube channel so I hope that makes a lot of sense if you've got any questions again put them underneath the video you can ask in the Facebook group and uh, I think that's has covered most of the videos now um, I will at some point come back and redo the videos that we did earlier for the WordPress Authority etc when it was a different design um, but I'm probably highly um, likely to have to do all of these again as we approach uh, I'm doing a proper launch for this particular tool. We're going to do a proper launch on JV Zero and get a bunch of affiliates emailing it and stuff. So all of these videos are likely to be done again. Um, but nothing has really changed in the way that we use the tool. It's just that we've moved these things at the side here um, from the top to the side. And that's the only difference, okay? Um, that's it. So let me know if you've got any questions. The best place to ask will be um, to send an email to support at anthonyhays.me or in the Facebook group and LOL or, or CJ or somebody will probably pick up and they'll pass that on to me and I can answer that whenever I see it. Okay. Thanks. Bye.